get to our first yes. guest. Yes, so we have we have with us today uh, a special guest actually waiting up in in um, Beit Shemesh in Israel. I know what time it is over there because like uh, the morning, yeah. that's my land, you know. Yeah. But uh, oh, you know the all of well. us, yeah. But it, it's it's almost two o'clock in the morning. We have Donny Fine with us. Now Donny was born in Brooklyn, raised in Staten Island with us. Made Aliyah in two thousand and nine. A regular guy, and this is what we're talking about, like the regular but irregular guys, you know, who is like like any of us. And he started something in 2017 called Mitzvah Opportunity, which started on a small WhatsApp group and grew to hundreds of people and multiple groups. And Donnie, on these little WhatsApp groups, we're going to speak to him in a moment, has raised almost 5 million shekels on these by-the-by WhatsApp groups for different... Yeah. You know, for different needs yeah. in Eretz Israel. Again, yeah. somebody no, who's he's a regular... great guy. I know him a very long time. I grew up with him. And here's an individual who took an opportunity um, that was small, if you will, and made it in monumental. So, Donnie, it's so great to have you on. That's great to be on. I thank you for your thank you. You guys are doing amazing work as well. <laughs> oh, that's is awesome. That, is that a real background? <laughs> no, well, it was, it's a real picture that was taken. Yeah, because if you're faking point. the background, I mean, I like the coastal one better, but uh, we'll, we'll take the new <laughs> projects in Ramat Beit Shemesh, you know. I could switch that to that one easily. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, Donnie, thank you for being up. Talk to us a little bit about this stuck uh, idea that you did. Give us a little bit of that background. All right, so I'll tell you where it started. It start, really it started 25 years ago, but I, was, I won't go that far back. Basically, in 2017, I was riding a bus back from Jerusalem. I'm pretty sure it was at the Kotel. And uh, I happened to have uh, been on my uh, on my phone, and I was checking uh, social media, Facebook, and uh, some lady put on a local Ramat Pechemesh, uh WhatsApp group or Facebook group uh, that she's uh, her and her family they don't have money for food for Shabbos. And I'm, I don't really sure what uh, what struck me. I don't I don't recall exactly what went through my mind at that moment. But basically, I uh, I, I reached out to the lady. I said, "How how could somebody not have food for Shabbos?" I myself was going through my own struggles at, at that time and I'm like, this, this just doesn't make sense. Somebody needs to help her. I'm going to, I'm going to step in. And I reached out to her personally and I said, if you could just send me somebody that can verify your situation, I'll, I could probably help you out with some money for, for food for Shabbos. And she sent me somebody, uh, she was actually living in Ramapa, Ramapa Gimel at the time and, uh, verified a case very quickly. I'm pretty sure this was on a Thursday. And, uh, Arab Shabbos, I was able to bring her, you know, whatever it was, a few hundred shekels I collected from my friends. And that snowballed into something, you know, on a weekly basis. I was looking out for more opportunities, uh, to, to help out, to help local families. There's a lot of families that are struggling here in Israel, unfortunately. So after a short period of time, again, it, I wasn't really like conscious of what was going on because it was just, uh, it was just me kind of playing around, helping people. And uh, I started a WhatsApp group called Sadaka Group with like five friends, four or five friends. And every Arab Shabbos, I'd go around to their homes and collect money and bring it to a family. And that snowballed into, you know, five, 10, 15 friends. Before I know it, I had 50 people on a group and, um, you know, been doing this for a couple of years. And then uh, and then Corona started and I really saw a really like a, a big pain point in people, people losing their jobs. They just... They just there's just no work. I'm you know I myself was really was really struggling. I looked up up, up at my wife at one point. I had 50 people on the group, and I said, "What if we had a hundred people on the group? What could we do?" My wife looked at me. She's like, "Go for it." Mm-hmm. So I I made a LinkedIn post. Um, I'm, I'm pretty active on social media on a on a regular basis. Made a LinkedIn post, and uh, before I knew it, I had a hundred people, and I was scribbling scribbling numbers down on a on a napkin on a piece of paper. Um, you know, adding things up, making sure we reach the goals, you know, and we reach, now we're ready. We're starting to raise money for tell people to fill in and a few other uh, cases, not just money for food for Shabbos, but that that's the basis of it. And that's really how the how the group started. Have you ever, did, when you started this thing, did you ever get a sense of what where it would go? Um, or is it a, and I think this is sort of the, the critical piece to this. Was it a, this is what's in front of me right now. Let me see if, who I can help in front of me. So I honestly, I honestly had no idea. Um, where it could go, I, I didn't. I didn't think that that far ahead. Now, now, re- literally six years later, only now, I'm starting to think what what can what can we do? How can we grow this? Um, I'm only first putting a website together now. Um, I really didn't know what I, what was going on, and then just you know, been doing this. It, it started where I, I would I would. It got to a point where I'm just doing one or two raises a week, one group. Next thing I know, 
um, Hillel Fold did a, did a uh, LinkedIn post uh, about a, I think it was about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, where he um, he really he, we, he interviewed me. We had breakfast together, and when we were leaving, he goes, "So I'm, I go, where are you posting this?" He goes, "It's already up on social media." <laughs> By the time I got home from from breakfast, 15 minute drive home, I had about uh, I had a, the, the the groups were exploding. I had I took I basically took a week off from work to organize it. I, it went, I went from 100, 150 to about 550, 600 wow. people literally overnight. And uh, we started uh, we it really started getting serious. That's when I was like, you know, I need to get organized. If you see next to me, I always have on my desk. I have three screens on my desk. One of them is basically devoted to the mitzvah opportunity. It's a whole long spreadsheet that I've been building for years and years. We recently added a chat bot to the WhatsApp yeah. group to to take a little to alleviate all the work from me. And um, it's just it's you know, it's getting serious. Uh, it's getting serious now. You know, Donnie, I'm, I'm listening. I'm listening to you say this, and I he, I'm hearing like what sounds to be a full time job. Of I'm creating this and I'm setting this up, and I had a meeting with this. You also have a realty company in Israel, Elite Israel Realty. You know, there are people who are who shy away from these type of initiatives because they feel like it'll take up all their time. They won't have time for work, family. Yet it seems like you're speaking about your full time job. How do you juggle all? <laughs> how do you juggle all of this? So I'll I'll be honest with you. Um, it's it's not easy. I I'm blessed. Thank God, Baruch Hashem. I thank God every day, multiple times a day, that I my I'm able to make a parnasa. My 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 parnasa position is helping people, helping Jews come to Israel, find homes in Israel. And then in Israel, I can help people make sure people have money for food, for utilities, for medical, anything um, in, in Israel. So I really feel blessed. And uh, I find the time. I'll be honest. Um, I'm not a giver by nature, uh, but I'm very blessed. And I've, and I've learned to become a giver through this, through this group. Yeah. And, um, and it's, it's been inspiring me every day. But uh, w- what I see on an on a absolutely incredible level is... The more I work on the group, and it takes a tremendous amount of time on my part every week, it really does, like a full-time job, the more I see success in, in business. Yeah, so yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. I, 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 don't, yeah. I don't know how else to explain it. So no, you don't know, Nate, Hashem, you're doing a great job. I'm and- taking care of Hashem's children. That's exactly He's right. taking care of me. And, and we, we thank you, Donnie, for being here. And you, you've explained it perfectly. And we that, thank you for, thank for you. what you're doing and, and, what, and what you stand for. It's amazing. You know, Donnie, if you. there are people out there that are watching this that want – you know, to either get in touch with you or thinking of starting something along this nature, what's the best way for them to, uh, besides the contact us, we can put them in touch with you. Is there an email address or an at something or a dot something that they can reach you at? So number one, you can always find me on LinkedIn. I'm pretty active on LinkedIn. Or you can email mitzvah, M-I-T-Z-V-A-H-O-P-P at gmail.com. And uh, and I'll be able to, uh, to field call, uh, you know, if somebody wants to join the group, they can send me their contact information. I can always add them to the group. Amazing. Thank you, Donnie. Donnie, thank you. Thank you for all the work that you're doing. Thank you for inspiring us over here. And you can finally go to sleep now. I hope the orange juice and the kagish cake won't keep you up. <laughs> Donnie's too healthy for kagish cake. Yeah. He's, not, he's not found the kagish cake. <laughs> guys, have product. an easy and meaningful fast, guys. Thanks, everybody. And and I want to just sort thank of you. double click on what he said for a second, which is um, I love the fact that in many ways, Donnie is a regular guy, and he's saying that the work that I'm doing um, is only allowing me to have more success. Right. And that's a, a big problem that people have, is people think that if I get involved in the community, if I get involved in helping people, it's going to pull away from my success. That's a lot of what the show stands for, is a Christ leads to success. A Christ leads to ability. And many times it's the same way of thinking which is I have a limited amount of time and I have a little amount of things that I got to do. And they're, they're living in a very physical way of seeing the world. But when you move into a world of Hashem, you do for Hashem's children, you do a little bit more. Hashem figures out a way for you to get as well.